Well, the bye week's over, and it's time for Texas football again. We get another mismatch for the Horns. Colorado's horrible. Uh, for, you know, this is our uh, second conference game. This conference open for most people, but it's the second conference game for Texas. And if you guys have been watching my videos, I thought Colorado would be good this year. I thought they were young and experienced last year and kind of injured, coming in, bringing those guys back. Cody Hawkins is a horrible quarterback, and, and, and the Colorado is terrible. You know, they beat Wyoming 24 nothing, But other than that, they got they went on the road and got killed by Toledo. They got beat by Colorado State, and then they went on the road and got beat by West Virginia. Um, and they played better against West Virginia, I guess. But, I mean, overall, this, this team, it, it's hard to talk about a game like this because there's nothing good about Colorado. The only good thing is, and I don't, from the little bit I've watched them, is uh, running back Rodney Stewart, sophomore, um, you know, from what I've seen, he seems to be a pretty good player. But, you know, Daryl Scott, you know, who decided to go to Colorado and said to come play for Texas, isn't doing much over there. Uh, it may be because of the system, maybe because he just wasn't that good in the first place. I don't know. Um, but, you know, Texas coming in this game, you know, we, we, we beat UTEP 64-7. And, and to talk about that, all you Houston Cougars fans, I hope you're watching, you're probably not. All you Houston Cougar fans, who were ripping the Longhorns because, oh, you guys don't want to play Houston because you're afraid you'll lose. You got beat by UTEP. We beat them 64-7. to It was over after two drives. So all you Houston fans, go back in your closet and get your Longhorn stuff out because I know you're Longhorns fans anyways. Just cheer for the Horns and forget about the Cougars. Because, I mean, keep cheering for them, but don't come cock trash to the Longhorns. We don't care about you, all right? So, when I saw that, that's that's embarrassing. But, you know, with Colorado this week, it's going to be a blowout. It should be. I think Texas is like 32-point favorites. Um, once again, just kind of gearing up for the Sooners. And, yeah, the Sooners got beat last week by Miami. Bradford will be back this year for Baylor, uh, this week for Baylor. We'll see how that works out. And with Robert Griffin down, that's that game's kind of a wash now. So, uh, but... This is this is the tip. This is the look ahead game. This is the game every year. Both sides, Oklahoma and Texas, have to sit there and say, "Hey, we got to win this game, so that next week will matter." Now for the Sooners, eh, they really have already lost two games, so they just need to win to survive. Texas though does have you know, they have to stay focused and win this game. Win it big, whatever. Just just win the game, and they will. Colorado, nothing on Colorado scares me. Um, they're they're not good. So. Hook em horns, Texas fight, and to all you Houston Cougars fans, don't don't talk about trying to beat the soon or be, try to beat the Longhorns when you can't even beat the UTEP Miners. Hook em horns, Texas fight. See you at the game. Beat Colorado.